guys, this is going to be a super quick video. I want to see if my Nutribullet juicer can juice key limes without peeling it. Now, in the book, I'm going to make this clear, you're not supposed to do that. But key limes are way smaller than commercial limes you see on in the supermarket. And they're thinner. So I'm like, maybe they could just go straight in the juicer. So I soaked these overnight, got all the dirt that I can off of these, and I'm gonna take the biggest risk because worst case scenario, I'm going to break a $150 juicer and I don't want that, but I'm willing to take the risk. So let's see if I could juice this with the skin on. All right. Usually you would set the setting on low for a lemon or lime, but since the pill's on, I'm going to put this on turbo. So a pound of key limes with the pill on made 10 ounces which is way more than what it did when I first did it and peeled off the skin I wanted to experiment with this because I had a really bad accident when I first got this Mr. Bullet and I'm terrified to cut key limes now like terrified cost me like a trip to urgent care it was not cool the pulp is dryish but I would still keep this like for a natural cleaner, maybe soak it in some uh, vinegar or something. But this is the basin with the pulp. All right, and I'm going to taste this to see how it tastes. super bitter which um, of course I expected especially if you still have the pill on but I have to admit it tastes fine it'll be easier for me to do like the key lime and water type thing or ginger shots um, I'm not sure if this is okay to do key limes in the Nutribullet juicer but guess what I am because like I said I'm terrified to cut key limes now so all right so i'm gonna say yes you could do this but do it at your own risk all right guys check out the rest of my nutribullet juicer videos i have a separate playlist for this and until my next post i am out and think vegan bye